I've added 30 unique bows to Minecraft, all with their own crazy new abilities. From the slime bow that bounces mobs into the air, to the builder's bow that lets you place blocks from afar, there's even a shooting star bow that rains down meteors from the sky. All of these bows need to be crafted in the Bow Crafter, which is has its recipe on screen right now. But you can just use this as a regular crafting table. I'll be keeping all of the bow's recipes as we cover them on screen. The ice bow will freeze a target in place for a short time. Once it's unfrozen, it should still take knockback as the cow just did. The lightning bow strikes the target with lightning. It can work on a mob, in which case it will stun it for a little bit, or a target that it will set on fire. Goodbye target, you will be missed. The honey bow covers a target in honey, making it sticky and slow. The slime bow will bounce a target into the sky. And I guess onto my wall. The firework bow causes a random firework explosion where it hits. And uh, yeah, it will deal more damage to a mob because of that, as well as some splash damage. You can see I actually missed, but it's still leaving. dealing damage. Similarly, the TNT bow will cause an explosion where it lands and will also cause an explosion on the mob it hits, generally throwing it into the air a little bit and dealing some extra damage. The critical bow will sometimes deal a critical hit, which deals pretty massive damage. The rainbow, when you hit a mob, will make it drop a random die. Uh, and you could get one of all 16 of the dies. Pretty, pretty useful for a die farm. The quartz bow deals literally no damage in the overworld, but deals rather high damage in the nether. The prismarine bow does no damage outside of water, but if you shoot a sea cow with it, it will take lots of damage. The shulker bow will cause the target to levitate for a little bit before dropping to their inevitable death. The chorus bow will sometimes cause the target to teleport. It is a somewhat rare chance though, so... There we go, finally. The no gravity bows, arrows always fly exactly where you're pointing because they don't have gravity. The glowstone bow will cause mobs hit to glow for a short time. Wither bow deals a little bit of extra wither damage. You can see them uh, taking some damage on the way down. The emerald bow does nothing special against most mobs except for raiders like pillagers or whatever. It will deal a bunch of extra damage. Super useful when taking on a pillager outpost. The sniper crossbow deals more damage the further you are away and you hit the mob. It will generally insta-kill them because the damage will increase the further the arrow flies. The short bow is the exact opposite. So the further ar the arrow flies, the less damage it does. So if we get like right up close to this cow, it should instant kill it. The random bow gives a random effect to the target that it hits. So that time it was probably like instant damage. That time it was probably instant health or it looked like it was regen. The armor piercing bow does more damage to mobs that are wearing armor. So this husk wearing a diamond helmet will take some extra damage. The bee bow shoots a poisoning bee instead of an arrow. And because of that, it won't necessarily work on like a husk or other mob that cannot be poisoned, but um, pretty funny. Also, you'll notice that they fly up a little bit, which makes it a bit tricky to aim. The bridging bow isn't actually a weapon. This will create a bridge where you shoot the arrow that you can run across to um, like parkour up and stuff. But you can see it will slowly disappear going uh, yellow, orange, and then red, and then finally being gone. The Builder's Bow won't do anything unless you have a block in your offhand, in which case it will place the block into the world. The Shooting Star Bow causes meteors to rain down from the sky. You'll notice these red dots appear. Those are where the meteors are going to land. They can do a pretty good amount of world damage. The Squid Bow causes an explosion of ink, so you don't even have to directly hit the target to uh, blind it and then also mildly poison it or wither it, I think. The long range bow, when you pull back the arrow part way, it will just kind of just drop out of the bow. But if you pull it all the way back and then fire, it will fly at extreme speeds doing really high damage. The short range bow is kind of the opposite. 
the arrows will always fly a short distance, but if they hit the target, they're going to deal a lot of damage. I should be able to almost one hit kill a cow with it. Oh, and enchant this one. It's really powerful. The Master Builder's Bow works exactly like the Builder's Bow, but mixed with a gravity bow, the no gravity bow. So the arrows always fly exactly where you are aiming. The Bouncy Bow can bounce arrows off of walls. So you should be able to bounce it and then still hit the cow if you get your angles right, like I just did there. Really cool stuff. And it can have up to five bounces. Like so. And finally, the angel bow, whenever you miss, or just shoot it in general, you will get some levitation, which allows you to rain arrows down on your targets. Uh, and yeah, you will still take fall damage, so be careful. Well, I hope you enjoyed that video. If you did, leave a like on the video, hit that subscribe button to not miss out on future content coming to the channel. I have quite a few upcoming videos. And you can always support me on Patreon. For this pack, you get the in-game recipes that will tell you how to craft every bow. Otherwise, you have to just view them on my website. But there's also other perks, like there's a bunch of crossbows and sword stuff and axes and uh, other stuff that I'm forgetting. So, uh, yeah, support me on there if you want to for one or more dollars a month. That gives you access to all of that. And, uh, yeah. Well, that's all I got. So, thanks for watching.